this is the final video in the circle theorem series and we are looking at the alternate segment theorem. So here is an example of this theorem. Now we have a triangle within a circle and all three corners are touching the circumference of the circle. We have AT which is a tangent to the circle. We have AB which is a chord and it is also a side of the triangle. And we have angle BAT, which is X, and that is between the chord and the tangent. Now the official rule to this is that the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. And to make that a little bit easier to understand, the angle between the tangent and the chord AB is equal to the angle in the triangle but the opposite angle so not angle B but the one on the other side and that can get a little bit confusing for some students so let's take a look at an example of this so find the value of X and Y so if you look at X and 64 64 is actually closest to Y in terms of opposite but it's actually the other one that we're looking at so X and 64 are equal. And likewise, 71, if you look opposite 71, you have x, but it's actually the other side that we're looking at, so y is 71. A little bit confusing, let's have a look at another one. So find the value of a and b. So again, if you look at 69, opposite that inside the triangle we have b, but it's actually the other side we look at, so a is 69. To find B, it's actually, just remembering the angles in a triangle, add up to 180. So we're going to add 69 and 74 together, and then we're simply going to take that away from 180. So 69 and 74 gives us 143, and then 180 minus 143 gives us 37 degrees, which is B. So always remember you're looking at the opposite angle, but then the one on the other side. It's very strange. And that's it.